just as long as the best gifts come without the show only on YouTube. What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel for another GTI Wednesday. I guess that's what we're calling this now. GTI Wednesday. So it's Wednesday. We're working on the GTI and we've got something to install as usual as these uh, parts install videos go. And I have it right here, so let me show you. Right here is our rear sway bar. This is Eibach, so pretty good brand, nothing too crazy. It is a 25 millimeter, I think? 25 millimeters, so it's a pretty thick little bar here, and it also came with some new poly mounts, which would be nice with the grease included. So we are going to be swapping this into the rear of the GTI. So why just the rear sway bar? On the GTI, at least the Mark 7, the front sway bar is integrated into the subframe and it's a little bit more involved than I want to do, especially on the car. While I'm still learning the platform and everything, um, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. And given that I have the Autobahn trim, I have the performance pack already, so the sway bars are a little bit bigger and I've got the adjustable suspension and everything, so really not super concerned. I don't know how big of a difference this will make, but in the rear at least, I'm hoping that it will uh, stiffen things up a little bit to keep cornering more flat. So what I'm gonna do is get the car jacked up, we're gonna get underneath, and then we're gonna install it and take it for a little test drive and see how it works. So sit down, relax, let's play the music. We got our OEM one out. Now we can do the comparison. So much thicker all around. So this is gonna be a nice little upgrade. It's not that much of a difference, but you can definitely see it. The red one is thicker. So next what I need to do is I need to get the end links off, swapped over to the new sway bar, and then we can throw the new one back in. Okay, so after a lot of wedging, prying, we've got the sway bar in. My big issue was over here on this side, I have the little dynamic stability control. I think that's what that little sensor is right up there. It's kind of in the way, so I took it out. It wasn't too hard to take out. It made it much easier. But otherwise, we've got our sway bar in. And now we can drop the car down and take her out for a test drive. All right, so it's probably gonna be a little difficult to see me since we're in daylight savings time and now we've lost an hour, or I guess we've gained an hour. Anyways, it gets darker earlier. Just initial impressions of the rear sway bar coming out of my neighborhood alone, it feels really good. Like, I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but you can for sure tell the balance of the car is set a little bit differently um, with a stiffer rear end. It feels just a lot more planted. It feels like the wheels are like both making full contact with the ground, which is what a sway bar should do. And uh, the Eibach 25 millimeter definitely achieves that. So unfortunately, there's not like a ton of twisty turns here in uh, North Texas, at least not anything close by, but yeah, you can for sure feel it's way, 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 way more planted. That feels really, really good. Do a little off ramp here. We'll wait for these guys to go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Way, way better. Overall, this is exactly how I wanted the car to feel. I really want to take it out to some back roads now to test it out, but we do have one more 
uh, chassis suspension mod coming. The next video, we're going to be installing some chassis bracing on the lower tunnel to hopefully stiffen up the vehicle as a whole and reduce any body flex that there is and really make this thing feel like a hot hatch. You know, it feels, you know, it. a lot of people call the GTI a hot hatch and, and I get it, that's what it is technically, but you can make everything better. Car modifications make everything better and that's exactly what we are doing. So thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate you tuning into the channel. If you are new, be sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below and I will see you next Wednesday.